Hello ENTPs, today we are talking about the true nature of the ENTP personality type and while some people might believe that ENTPs are meant to be some kind of uh, genius uh, inventor type, while some people might think that you're destined to drive forward progress in our society, while some people see ENTPs as uh, bound to realize new potential, new ideas, I don't see it that way. No, what I see it, you don't have to care about any of that. Yeah, as an ENTP, you can let all those things go. Stop chasing for achievement or success. Stop trying to be something. What's the point when you instead can choose to be a devil's advocate? Yeah, as a devil's advocate, you're never going to have to care about anything. Never are you going to have to choose a viewpoint or argument. You're never going to have to commit to an ideology or a relationship. You can just choose to stay on the sidelines of any discussion or any situation always the rebel, always the critic. As an ENTP devil's advocate, there are a number of ways you can uh, choose to uh, confront and challenge people. But the most important thing is always to find the biggest insecurity of the person you're talking to. Always know where to punch, always know where it's gonna hurt the most. As an ENTP, find flaws and issues with any person and bring it up to them as a form of a yoke. As the way I see it, ENTPs never waste time on criticizing the majority. Focus your argument on the minorities. Focus it on the people that won't be able to speak back to you. Focus it on the small and weak in society. The people that are the easiest targets. The people that will never ever be able to truly challenge what you say. Or if they do, they'll be too small or too silent or too few to ever really hurt you. As an ENTP, being a devil's advocate is fun. It is amazing. It's an incredible feeling. You're always right and everyone else is always wrong. And you're never wrong yourself because you never ever had a position to begin with. All you did was spoke in good fun. And what's more fun than proving people are wrong? Making people feel stupid. Making people feel small. ENTPs. You have two choices, the difficult life where you try to live a life of meaning and where you try to find the right way to live, the right decision, the right choice, or the easy life where you just have to stay afloat, just jump from thing to thing, always move forward in society, just float around, just do the bare minimum necessities that you need to do to stay alive, you know? Find ways to cheat, find secret tricks you can use to just get by. Keep things easy and simple and never worry about anything. It's easier that way because if you have to work hard towards something, there's a chance you might fail. Yeah, ENTP, sorry I'm obviously joking. However, it's time, I believe the time has come for you to stop being a devil's advocate. Yeah, I believe the time has come for you to start becoming an angel's advocate. An angel's advocate is like a devil's advocate in many ways. There are many similarities. You have already the base framework to be a truly healthy critic of other people. And you're going to become really successful and really awesome while doing it. So what I want to say is build on your strengths. Be the person that sees the weak points and the flaws. Be the person that sees the way things can improve. And be the person that illuminates flaws and helps drive forward solutions. ENTPs, the way I see it, find the person in the group, find the person at your job that is the most smart, the most talented, and the most full of potential. Find the project, the idea in the new project, the new s solution that you see as the mo most potential. And find ways to make it to something truly incredible. ENTPs work amazingly as supporters and many ENTPs get rich and successful because they make other people rich and successful. While you can choose to simply piggyback off anyone who's struggling, while you can get a feeling of superiority by attracting the people that are the weakest in society, nothing can truly measure up to that feeling of pride when you're able to make something truly great when you're able to meet somebody truly awesome when you're able to work with people that are truly talented 
as an ENTP, you're going to get further in life if you can piggyback on the brilliant rather than on the people that are struggling. That means as an ENTP, find the people out there that you see have the most potential and become their sidekicks and become their biggest advocates. As an ENTP angels advocate, what you're going to be doing is a lot of time you're going to be doing a lot of criticism, but you're going to be doing it the right way. Yeah, you're going to be illuminating problems and issues with what other people are saying. You're going to be the person behind the scenes that is always like, why did you say that? You should have done that. You should have done that differently. But the way you're going to say it is going to be constructive and it's going to be awesome. As an ENTP, work on your way to give criticism. Become the best, most talented critic in the world. Yeah, become the person that everyone runs to for feedback and solutions. Yeah, be the person with the brilliant mind. Be the person who is so sharp in seeing how things can improve that people simply become addicted to you and to your support and advice. ENTPs are amazing consultants. They're amazing at providing feedback and providing people with solutions. When you see projects, when you see websites, when you see uh, apps, you see them with this open eye, this eye that thinks about creatively how things can be different. That means you're able to usually see more issues and more mistakes than anyone else. But you're also gonna be able to see, if you go a bit further, solutions. Yeah, the ENTP has the capacity not just to be critical, but also to be a problem solver. Often ENTPs are amazing at patching things up. If you can find a hole in Titanic, you can also find how to cover that hole. ENTPs try to find ways to cover that hole. Be the person that not only can see the problems at your workplace, but also the person that can find the solutions. A lot of time, when you're looking at the situation or when you're looking at problems, look at it with open eyes, you know, challenge yourself to, before you go and approach people with a problem, think about the solution. That means work not just your introverted thinking, but also work your extroverted thinking. As an introverted thinker, you have the inherent capacity to think about things critically, to see uh, solutions, to see problems, to see issues. But how about applying these solutions? And how about how you go about applying those, uh, that critical feedback? How do you say it? How do you make people more receptive to your ideas? How do you get people to understand? I think a lot of time, because people are so sensitive, the ENTP might get upset. Some ENTPs, they're frustrated by the fact that people won't listen. Yeah, it can be difficult to see how things can be better, but to hear such criticism, such resistance, all you're trying to do is help. All you're trying to do is bring up a problem. But other people might choose to respond in a defensive or sensitive way. And a lot of time, it's upsetting because you were just there trying to help and they didn't want to listen. And so that anger, that's Frustration can drive an ENTP to become the devil's advocate. Yeah, if the feeling is that calm people are constantly responding in a sensitive way, no matter what you say, then the impulse is to make them even more sensitive, to go in more direct, to go even more harsh. Yeah, a lot of time it's like, okay, you were gonna get upset no matter what, so I might just not mince my words. I might just come down on you with all the guns and all the ammunition. A lot of time, it's like when meet, met with resistance, the ENTP has the desire to rebel. Yeah, a lot of time the desire to be a devil's advocate comes just from this healthy instinct to resist, to rebel, and to speak out. You are constantly hindered by the fact that society is ineffective, inefficient, that things are not working the way they should, uh, things are not working the way they're supposed to, you know. There are so many things that are not working well and you are forced to live in that environment. You're forced to work in a workplace where people don't do what they're supposed to do in the way they're supposed to do it. You're forced to deal with the fact that people in relationships make stupid decisions. As an ENTP, it can be difficult to grow up in such a world with such a mind. So there can be anger that you have to resolve. There can be things that you have to deal with. There can be a frustration and a desire to come at things like a devil's advocate. 
and you need to work through that desire in yourself so basically take your time to introspect like process that feeling process that anger and make sure you're putting it out to the right people that means if you're constantly met with resistance and if people are not receptive stop trying to get them to listen to your advice if people are not ready to hear your ideas if people are not ready to listen find the people that are yeah don't waste your time on the people that are wrong on the internet don't waste your time on the people that lack the capacity to think about a solution rationally don't waste your time if people are not there to, ready to hear you let them come to you don't waste your energy coming to them and beyond that There are people that don't find you rude. There are people out there that don't find you annoying. There are people out there that don't find you stupid or critical or uh, anything like that. There are people out there that find you fascinating. There are people out there that are mesmerized by your mind. Yeah, people out there find you cool. They love how you see things. They love your ideas. They love your solutions. And they're grateful for your feedback. Yeah. Chances are there are lots of people like that in your life already. So. Treasure those people and yeah, stay awesome. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.